Lamont runs for a seat in the state assembly tonight at 7 on Sanford and Son. sleeping in that thing all night. Who invited you over here anyway? Come on, come on, don't be rude. Uh, anyway, it had nothing to do with you. I was, uh, I just thought I'd take a nap. I, I, I must have passed out. Oh, yeah, sure. Well, you, uh, sound like you're all better. Well, I feel like I just finished the Boston Marathon, but I guess I feel a lot better. I think my feet was breaking anyway. Yeah? I thought for a while you were breaking up last night the way you kept talking out of your head. Why, what'd I say? Oh, just one topic, my man. Bobby Gerard, Bobby Gerard, Bobby Gerard. That's right, I remember dreaming about Bobby Gerard. I even thought I saw her. I, I saw her in some kind of bizarre forest. I was trying to get her to tell me what really happened that night. <laughs> According to you, you already knew what happened. I mean, you kept repeating it over and over again. Calvin, what did I say? You said that you thought it was Sky Whitney who killed Bobby. For Pete's sake, Raven, come on. A plane leaves in two hours, and you're still packing. I am unpacking because these dresses are going to get messed up in here. Well, shall I take these straight out to the car, oh, Mrs. Whitney? Four. There are three more upstairs, sir. Yes. Those out of course, Spencer? Are you bringing your entire wardrobe to Switzerland with you? No, darling. I plan to buy a few things over there. Wait, mm -hmm. there must be a dozen pieces of luggage out in the car already. Where are we going to sit? Well, you don't have to go, but I have to dress properly. About these pieces, sir. Yeah, yeah, well, if, if they'll fit, put them in there. Oh, uh, Spencer, wait a minute. I think this one's ready. Yeah. Baby, don't be mad at me. I have to take all those things because we might be there for months. Yeah, I know, but you're packing as if we're going to be there for a lifetime. Oh, Geraldine, you needn't do that. Spencer will take the luggage outside. It isn't one of yours, Scott. The suitcase is mine. Oh? Yes, you see, I'm leaving the house this morning, too. But I'm leaving for good. <laughs> is brought to you by Mountain Grown Folgers, Mountain Grown Coffee, the richest kind, and by New Formula Era, a new combination of powerful cleaners concentrated into one quarter cup. When we set out to improve the great laundry detergent, we wanted to keep the powerful cleaners that work on ordinary dirt, that cut through food stains, that get out grease and oil, and add powerful cleaners that clean collar soil even better than before. So that's what we did, all in the concentrated quarter cup called New Formula Era. So effective, it cleans clean through. Watch error clean through collar soil, taco grease, and motor oil. We treat only the top with a teaspoon of error, rub, run under warm water, and look. New error cleans clean through. That's the kind of power you get in error's little quarter cup. New error, 
power that cleans clean through. Wonderful, Sue, you're some cook. Oh, come on, we're celebrating. Food, food, coffee. I love good coffee. I'll make some. Oh, honey, he said good coffee. Oh, spoil sport. <laughs> but he's right, I can't make good coffee. Oh. You can make great coffee. Come on. Folgers will prove it. Prove what? Coffee's coffee. No, Folgers is different. A special blend. Best I've tasted. Mountain grown? Mountain grown means great flavor because it's the richest kind of coffee. Make some. Mmm, smells rich. Great coffee. More. <laughs> Fill her up, Coach. <laughs> Great coffee's easy, and Mountain Grown Folgers proves it. Now, Geraldine, there is no reason for this upset. You're simply overreacting. I distinctly recall being asked to leave this house. I was only obliging. I'm sure that Raven didn't mean what she said. She was... Feeling very upset herself. For damn good reason. Well, you must understand how she was feeling, Geraldine. I mean, the idea of all these people ganging up against her husband. I was rather uh, surprised myself. Then you'll be equally glad that I'll be out of the house, Skyler. Then you won't have to give any thought to what happened that night at the Wiley dance studio. There, you see what I mean? She's saying the same things again. I'm sorry if you believe that I've been concealing something, Geraldine. I assure you it was all a misunderstanding. Perhaps. But I am quite convinced that you are not at all straightforward with the police, with me, or with your wife. And I don't want to hear any more of this because I heard enough of it at that stupid kangaroo court of yours. That was rather a cruel thing to do to my poor wife, wasn't it, Geraldine? I simply wanted Raven to hear the facts. Ne the lies. The lies. I don't believe it's necessary to discuss this any further. But I want to assure you, Scott, I have never made a more difficult decision in my entire life. You are my nephew. My only flesh and blood relative in this entire world. Yes, that's true, isn't it? I honestly believe that you know more about this case than you're willing to admit. You lied about the watches. And I'm convinced that you lied. Because you were in the dance studio that night before the police arrived. Will you stop her? Because this is getting Tell ridiculous. me something, Geraldine. If you believe that I was in the dance studio that night, you also believe that I uh, hit... Miles Kavanaugh on the head and knocked him unconscious? No, of course not. That's Could true. you believe that I would allow Gunther Wagner to bleed to death? Is that what you think? Skyler, I don't want to cover this ground anymore. I have said what I've had to say. I simply want you to know that I did it to help that poor young man. That poor young murderer, you mean. And I hope that he rots in jail for the rest of his life. Hi, Raven. Skyler, I hope you have a wonderful trip. I'll send someone for the rest of my things. She's like a mother to me, and she turned on us. Do you remember what we promised each other? That it was going to be you and me. You and me against the world. Yeah. Seems like it's come down to that, doesn't it? I love you, Raven. And if you love me, you trust me. Do you love me too? Yes. Miles, I'm sorry about the short notice on it, but Doc Fisher just couldn't make it. It's the least I can do after you took care of my emergency last night. Hey, you don't have to apologize to me about that. In fact, uh, you were saying? No, not. Well, yeah. In fact, maybe I should thank you for giving me the chance to go over and see Jinx again last night. I guess you must realize I like the girl. The thought had occurred to me, otherwise I wouldn't have called you. So what, all right, I, I uh, suppose uh, she got out of her depression? Yeah, I think she did. Good, I'm glad to hear it. Well, it took a little while. She uh, wanted to know all about me. I had to tell her how I work and 
what I'd do in my innermost thoughts. Hell, I told her things I wouldn't tell my psychiatrist, if I had a psychiatrist. Well, sometimes that's very good therapy, you know, talking like that, not only for the talker, but for the listener. Well, Miles, I think I know what her problem is. You do? Yeah. And I think you were right. I think it's her work. This, this acting business. She's wanted it so long and so hard, and it's just not happening fast enough. The hell, that would depress anybody. Yeah, I'm sure you're right. But she's joined a new, uh, well, the acting company that's taken over Gavin Wiley's old studio. Right, maybe that'll do her some good. I sure hope so. Yes, come in. Oh, good morning. Good to say, how are you? Thanks. <laughs> hey. You silly have timing. Well, it's good to see you. You too. We were just uh, talking about you, as a matter of fact. Listen, I hope you're not too angry with me about last night. Oh, well, you should be angry at me. I mean, that was awful for me to call you in the middle of the night and cry on your shoulder. And then when Derek told me that you started round at 7.30, I felt awful. It's all right. Just finished them, as a matter of fact. Now I've got another medical chore to perform. Well, don't tell me that the chief needs a doctor. Well, he seems uh, quite healthy to me. <laughs> uh, I do need a doctor, but it's not for me personally. I need some forensic work done. Forensic? That sounds forbidding. Well, it may sound that way, but it's it's not really. But Jinx, uh, you came a few hours early for lunch. Well, you told me to come early and that you would show me around the headquarters. Oh, yeah, I, I did. But I'm going to have to have somebody from the public relations department do that. I can't leave my desk now. Oh, well, that's fine. Miles, isn't this wonderful? I mean, the last time I was here, I was a lawbreaker. And now, I'm a sightseer. Well, yes, it is wonderful. It's also wonderful to see you in such good spirits. Well, that's thanks to you, Doc. Science of Silkians comes to your face. What you need is what you get. Silkians, the self-adjusting moisturizer that gives you beautiful silky skin because it goes where your skin needs it. Here's proof. Ultraviolet photography shows more Silkians was attracted to Tina's dry skin less everywhere else. But Gail's skin attracted more Silkians where she needed more. Silkians, what you need is what you get. Beautiful silky skin. That's Silkian skin. Some people think sunflower seeds taste so good that... I could eat them all day long. But did you know they make a perfect oil for cooking? Sunlight. All natural from sunflower seeds. Sunlight is 100% sunflower seed oil. And that means it's lower in saturated fats than all the leading oils. Mmm, oh, Charlie's gonna love this. With no cholesterol. I love it. Sunlight. All natural. From the seed of the sunflower. You know, Val, you and I are really going to have to work harder at uh, coordinating our days off. You know? I don't get days off, Kelly. I have to work for a very strict boss. Yeah, I know. That's one of the troubles of being self-employed. Well, remember what the Pilgrim Fathers said? What's that? If you don't work, you don't eat. Oh, we're talking about eating. Uh, you want to go to lunch? Can we? Huh? Um, yeah, sure. I suppose so. Well, uh, don't overwhelm me with your enthusiasm. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'd be delighted to have lunch with you, Kelly. Is that better? Ah, uh, that's much better. When can we go, huh? Um, look, I just don't know. I have a lot of work to do first. Oh, that's okay. Work fascinates me. Yeah, I know. You could watch, watch it, it for, for hours. hours. Yeah, I think I could watch you for the rest of my life. It's becoming well, a habit for me. The trouble is, I have to shoot a portrait this morning, and I really don't think my clients want an audience. Oh, hey, come on. I won't get in the way or anything. I, I, I might even be able to help. I'll ask them to watch the... I don't think that's going to be necessary. Uh, I, I can make them laugh. I can make them laugh. Watch, watch, watch. Come on. Oh, hey, you funny face, huh? That's funny, huh? Thanks, yeah? but no thanks. It's not funny. Well, there's got to be something I can do. Mm. Uh, okay, I'll move. Here. How about this? Kelly. Look, I'm sorry. I can't be with you for more than five minutes without wanting to put my arms around you. Well, I usually don't complain, do I? Then why start now? Because there's a time and a place for everything. Mm -hmm. Is this any way to start a new year? I have a New Year's resolution, and that is to put this studio on a paying basis. Yeah, well, I have a New Year's resolution, too. You want to hear it? What? It's to see more of you in 82. That's my slogan. Very clever. Oh, thank you. And I think the best way to accomplish that is to, uh, to uh, make a more 
exclusive arrangement. A what? The best way to keep the Jim Dietrichsons out of my world, maybe, is to marry you. Here we are, ready for our picture. Well, hello. Hi, Kelly, Val. Uh, hi, hi, come on in. <laughs> hi, Gavin, Jody. Uh, so you're the two who are having your portrait made. Ah, uh, you got uh, it. It's our, it's our Christmas present to each other. Just yeah. we had to wait until after Christmas to get it done. <laughs> well, we couldn't afford much else. And uh, considering the way things are, a picture of us together would be very nice to have in the near future. Could you bake a better cake than a pastry chef? Why not, I said. I'll bet my Duncan Hines cakes are as good as a restaurant cake. But this was Master Chef Henri Bott of San Francisco's famous Blue Boar. Here's my Duncan Hines, and here's the judge, Brian Weatherhill, the owner of the Blue Boar. I sure hope he wouldn't choose the chef's cake. It's fine. Your last cake. Darn, that was his cake. But now it's Duncan Hines' turn. What's about the cake? Moist? I prefer this cake. He picked my cake. Duncan Hines. <laughs> <laughs> very good, very moist. But I do agree, this cake is better. Duncan Hines cakes. So moist and delicious, you can make them better than a pastry chef's cake. Classical genoise. That's what I did. Classical or not, this is a better cake. I'm financial director the Gilbert family. My job's to stop our money from going down the drain. Not easy, because I want what's right for my family. And that means new cushion folded pampers for Jenny. Oh, I tried those so-called bargain brands, and you know what? They're no bargain. Pampers keeps my Jenny a lot drier. And dryness is what I want for my baby. Look, what are pampers and the average bargain brand? Now wait. Slip in a blotter. Pampers cushion quilted lining helps keep babies a lot drier. Here's our bathing beauty. Hand me your diaper. Cushion quilted pampers. She loves their dryness. New cushion quilted pampers keep a little baby a lot drier. I want to take one more for luck, okay? Just relax, brush your hair back. Okay, and... Oh! <laughs> well, that's it, that's all I'm going on. That didn't hurt too much, did it? No, it didn't smell a thing. I did. Hey, wait, you want me to get one like that? No. Okay. Listen, we really appreciate this, Val. As I said, it's going to mean a lot to both of us. Well, I just hope I do a good job. Oh, I'm sure you did. I mean, I've seen some of the other pictures you've taken, and they are marvelous. Thank you. I only have one complaint. That price that you quoted us seems a little bit too low. No, no. It's my, um, special New Year's introductory offer, really. Now, I am going to start developing these so that you can have them as soon as possible. Thank you. Good. Uh... Listen, babe, have you heard anything since last night? Um, has anybody called? No, well, Cliff called. That's about it. He didn't sound too optimistic about it. And Raven and Sky Whitney Reef, you're up today. That's right. That's right. I knew it wasn't going to work, Joey. Anybody that's ever met Raven once before would have known that. She only thinks of herself. Now, come on. Miles and Nicole think we really opened her eyes. And that we made her realize what her husband is. Oh, we opened her eyes, all right. But mark my words, they shut again as soon as she got home. She does not want to believe the truth. You know, I wish we knew the whole truth about this guy. Is that going in the trunk, Mrs. Whitney? No, Spencer, this is a piece of hand luggage. I'll keep it on my lap. Good. I don't think there's another inch of room left. No, that's what my husband keeps saying. Oh, by the way, he's outside trying to repack the trunk. Maybe you want to help him. Yes, I get better. Don't worry about it. I'll get it. Hello. Raven, it's Damian Tyler. Look, I have something very important to ask you. What? It's about Bobby. Bob oh, Damian, please. Why does everyone keep asking me questions about her when I don't have the answers? Raven, the girl is dead. She was young and her I life is gone. I told you I don't know what happened to her. You may have been the last one to have seen her. You may be the only one who can give us a clue about what might have happened to her. I don't really give you any clues when I'm ready to go catch a plane in an hour. Something might occur to you, some little thing, something she said or someone she mentioned. Look, Raven, all I'm asking you to do is to let me know. Look, call me from Switzerland or London or Paris or Kathmandu or wherever you may go. Call me, collect. Would you do that for me, please? All right. I just don't know what good it'll do. Who's that? Um, it's a girlfriend. Look, Harriet, I'll call you when I get back, okay? Bye-bye. 
did you get everything in? Uh, yeah, just barely. Uh, it's in the car, but I don't know whether that is going to be room in the airplane. I understand that there are other passengers in this flight. Yeah, well, don't worry. It'll all be all right. Okay. Um, so, are we ready to go? Yeah, just here. Here, I'll do that. All I got to do is I have to check the alarm system, go around, make sure that the windows and doors are locked and things like that. Uh, why don't you wait outside? I'll get them. Why my smoked sausage is America's favorite? No matter how you slice it, that Hillshire Farm fresh flavor comes through. Hillshire Farm fresh pork and beef and spices on the rice. Make that farm fresh flavor come through with every bite. So no matter how you cook it up, please Hillshire Farm is true. No matter how you slice it, that farm fresh flavor comes through. Hillshire Farm smoked sausage and post country pasta. No matter how you slice it, that Hillshire Farm fresh flavor comes through. Hey, Mom, could you eat supper with us? Sure. What are we having? Liver? What? Mom, can I eat out Larry's? A government survey has shown that among preschoolers, 9 out of 10 didn't get the recommended levels of iron, and 5 out of 10 didn't get the recommended amounts of vitamins A and C. But Flintstones Plus Iron helps kids get the iron and 10 essential vitamins their growing bodies need. Flintstones, we make them for kids, because the odds are against them. Larry's mom made liver, too. You possess a powerful force. No, it possesses me. It's helping to your face. Tonight, the Hulk terrorizes Times Square. Suspects anything about, well, about what happened last night? Well, I don't know. It was, it was his idea in the first place. Well, I think all he wanted you to do was to, um, hold my hand. Look, what difference does it make? So what if he didn't But you didn't tell him anything, did you? Of course I didn't tell him anything. What do you think I am? I'm a gentleman. Even if I wasn't a gentleman, believe me, Miles is gentleman enough for the two of us. Mm, yes, he strikes me that way. I don't think I know many men like him. Now, wait a minute. Have you included me in that? Oh, well, I think that you're wonderful <laughs> in your own way. I'm glad you think that. Oh, I do. Mm. Oh. oh, excuse me, Chief. You told me to come right in. Look, I'll... I'll it's all right, back. Calvin. Come in. Come in. Uh, this is Miss Avery. This is one of my officers, Calvin Stoner. Oh, it's nice to meet you. No, likewise. Yes. Miss Avery was just uh, going to wait for me outside. Oh, yes. Uh, the reservations are for 1215. I'll be ready. Okay. Bye. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Come on in, Stoner. Uh, Anderson said... Uh, you were two hours late. What happened? Hey, I'm afraid it was our pal, Tyler. <clears throat> you went to see him last night, didn't you? Yeah, and it's a good thing I did, too. He was trying to run some kind of a record fever. I tried to talk the guy into going back to the hospital, but uh, you know how stubborn he is. What are we going to have to do? Tie that guy into the bed? It's okay. He's all right now. I sort of camped out there last night, and the fever was broken this morning. He says he'll take it easy until he's recovered. No, I'm going to have to chew him out. Next time I see him, there's no reason for one of my officers to be taking such poor care of himself. I want to thank you for taking care of him. No, no sweat. But uh, there is one thing I want to mention to you, Chief. Uh, Damien blames this on the fever, and I suppose that might have something to do with it, but I think he believes this new theory of his. Wait a minute. What new theory? It's about the Bobby Gerard case. Tyler believes that Skylar Whitney killed her. For what reason? For the same reason he switched the two pocket watches. Now, I don't understand how those two relate. Look, Bobby Gerard was not at the Whitney household for her help. I mean, she went there to find that second watch to prove that Skye was a liar. She thought that was the, the best way she had of helping Gavin. And? Well, Tyler thinks that she got too close to the truth and that Skyler Whitney knew how close she was and that he took her for a ride. Top house, basement. Next door, sir. I just have to put out the fire. All right, no, let that let that burn out. You see my passport? No, sir. I think it's over. Skyler. Yeah. Look what I found. So, 
uh, so you, you, you found a lost shoe, wasn't it? It's like? not my shoe. I think that the shoe belongs to Bobby Gerard. Well, uh, maybe, maybe Bobby lost it or left it I here. I found it know. under the front seat of the car. Well, then you must be mistaken. It's obviously not Bobby's. Uh, there's been somebody? other women in the car. I don't know. Maybe Spencer had somebody joyriding. It's Bobby's shoe. Something. I know it's Bobby's shoe. That means she's been in our car. Raven, we have got one hour before our flight leaves. It's an international flight. It takes time to get the ready. The police told me if there was anything unusual about Bobby that I remembered, I should call them, and I think that this is unusual. What are you doing? Well, let me take a few minutes. No, you're not. If we take one minute now, I am canceling the whole damn trip. Skyler! If we don't leave now, we don't leave. Right. We won't have time. Now why don't you go outside and wait in the car and I'll turn off the lights. Okay? typical food basket is full of wholesome lighter foods like fish, chicken, and fresh vegetables. And they all go well with Mazzola corn oil. You see, no leading oil tastes lighter than Mazzola, so the natural flavor of food comes through. It's also true that Mazzola is the only leading oil made from the goodness of corn. It's 100% pure corn oil, so it's low in saturated fats with no cholesterol. If you want to change to a diet of lighter wholesome foods, do it. And then put Mazzola corn oil in your food basket. Mona here with today's helpful hint. For cleaning grease, use this top liquid cleaner. Sorry, Mona. My soul cleans grease better. And uh, who are you? Katie, the cleaning lady. Watch this. Concentrated Pine Soul cuts through grease better than any other leading liquid cleaner. Oh. And Pine Soul cleaner disinfectant kills household germs and odors and leaves a fresh scent. Pine Soul cleans grease better, kills germs, and leaves a fresh scent. Now that's a helpful hint. Lamont puts his foot in his mouth when he tries to impress his politically aware girlfriend tonight at 7 on Sanford and Son. And tonight at midnight, Rex Harrison and Rosalind Russell star in The Citadel on the Channel 48 late movie. Now, stay tuned for The Love Boat. This is Field Communications in Philadelphia.